Natasha Ann Staniszewski. Yes. Welcome to Cavi Presents. Thank you. It's good to be here. Okay, good. If within the Bell Media family, yes. there was an Olympics day, various shows or networks put together a four by one relay team, and you're the captain of this team, so you're on this team, who from TSN are you putting on this four by one Olympic style relay team? Uh, Kate. Is, is running which? For sure. Um, which where leg? would I put her? She's so competitive. I would think I'd put her first. Okay. Because she'd want to, she would just come flying out of the gate. Dutch says he can run pretty fast. I think he's pretty regimented. Okay, listen, this is running. running this is not like I know, shot it's put. huge, but I don't think there's a lot of runners in the newsroom, actually. Ray Ferraro, that guy's a beast. Okay. He works out all the time. So we'll do Kate first, Dutch second. I'll go third, because I'm okay, and we'll put Ray fourth. <laughs> I think Ray can bring it home. Nabil's not going to be uh, happy with you. I don't think Nabil runs, so too bad for him. Nabil is built like a Michael Phelps. This guy is long and lean. Which Nabil are you talking about? <laughs> How many James Duthies can you bench? One and a half. Like, are we talking one and a half James <laughs> Duthies on the bar or one and a half reps of uh, James Duthie? Two, Just one, and then... one? I don't know, three. Three? Sure, why not? <laughs> if you had an unlimited budget and you were putting on a charity event. Yes. And you could have one of the following A-list celebrities come and tell stories for like an hour. This is the list. Amy Schumer, Tina Fey, Ellen, Melissa McCarthy, Louis C.K., mm -hmm. Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, and Will Ferrell. Okay, that was easy. Tina Fey. Tina Fey. She's my girl. Really? Yep. You want the evening to be G-rated then, because uh, yeah. if it's Schumer, like Schumer yeah. and Rock and Louis C.K. Right. It's Schumer's, some more blue is the material. That's right. Schumer's a little bit out there. I watched her. The one where it? she's in leather. I tweeted out a photo of myself wearing just underwear. And that's when I learned the word you don't want people to use when a nude photo of you goes viral. Brave? <laughs> Wait, they have any it? Schumer special on a yes. plane? Yes, yes. Exactly, that was my reaction. I couldn't believe some of the things she was saying. They were funny, but I was like, whoa, is this supposed to be on the plane right now? <laughs> Do you own any jerseys with your last name on the back? Yes. It was given to me when I played in a charity hockey tournament. How do you feel about personalized jerseys? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. I mean, this was for charity, right? So it's different, but... But like, when you I'm go to like a, a hockey arena or a basketball right. game or a baseball game, you see... No, no, no. Actually get a player's name. Don't put weird stuff on the back. Don't put tape on the numbers and make different numbers. I don't like that either. I, like, I kind of like that. It's like the rebellion, the re rebellious yeah, fan. Yeah, I understand it. Yeah, I guess, but. Okay, so if you were given a jersey for a birthday present or some gag gift, would you then wear it to a game? Well, I have worn jerseys to games. Yeah, but the one with your own with name on With my own name? Oh. <sighs> no. Especially not now, like considering this job, it would be super <laughs> weird. I usually try and fly under the radar when I'm at games. Right, like I've done it before, and yeah. <laughs> how did that go? With, yeah, with, how did it go? Yeah. Oh, I, um, I was called a word that rhymes with <clears throat> moosh. When you were uh, growing up in Edmonton, yeah. and I've been to West Edmonton Mall, okay. and I've been to the pool yes. at West Edmonton Mall, right. is it normal to get a rash? from the water park. <laughs> oh, West Edmonton Mall. Do you want to know where the rat... <clears throat> when you go to the movie theater and you watch, like, horror movies, do you watch them like this? Or do you feel like this? Or do you do one of these when you're watching? Yeah, that. Is I, this I hate horror movies. Like, the last horror movie I probably saw, which I don't even think is techn technically a horror movie, is The Sixth Sense. Remember that one? Yeah, of course. It was That's scary, right? Hold on one second. That's the last horror movie you saw in yes. the theater? Yes. That movie came out in 1999. I know. I hate scary movies. I can't handle them. Then I have nightmares after. It's bad. So okay. I just don't go see them. But that was a good one. I did enjoy that one. That was one. amazing. It was amazing, right? Okay, wait. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> so was The Sixth Sense the last movie that really got you? Yep. So like, like, did you see like The Ring? No. Or Jeepers Creepers? No. Nope. The Hills Have Eyes? No. No, no, no. I can't, I just can't do the it. The Conjuring? <laughs> Heck no.